Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to back up and restore any WordPress file on the server hosting your blog. The emphasis of course in this video is on custom functions.php file. What I'm teaching you will work with any files on your server, any WordPress blog, even a conventional website. In a previous post in my blog, I told you how to download, install, and use FileZilla. You can get to my blog by typing jupitergym.com into the address bar in your browser, and on that website, there'll be a link to my actual blog, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. You'll also find a link to a thesis theme manual there in case you're interested in purchasing that. The demonstration blog I'm using uses WordPress version 3.1.1 and the thesis theme 1.8. You do need to be using the thesis theme if you're going to find the custom functions.php file, but it doesn't matter. What I'm teaching you will apply to every WordPress blog or every website when it comes to using FileZilla. Okay, let's get started. And again, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com, and I'm at my demonstration blog, Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. And as I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to back up that custom functions.php file. Let's get to the dashboard. I'm going to click on this tab in my browser where I've already logged into the dashboard of Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. Scroll down. We're going to get to the thesis tab. Click on Custom File Editor. Scroll down, custom functions.php, click here. And you'll know you did it right when you get this warning down here, which says you should have access to the file via FTP program, and that's what we're going to do. Here's the file right here. Okay, so let's open up the FTP program. FileZilla, let me minimize this. We're at my desktop. I'm going to double click on the icon for FileZilla. And whenever you do that, as soon as FileZilla opens, all the the drives, folders, and files on your computer are going to appear on the left-hand side. So I'm going to double-click on the C drive, and in the C drive, I'm going to add the folder where we're going to store the backup copy of the custom functions.php file. You can create this backup folder in any folder that you want. You can create it on the C drive, you can create it in the My Documents folder, you can create it in a folder inside My Documents folder, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to right click, if you're in a Mac, press Control and then click and you'll get the drop down menu. I'm going to right click because I'm in a Windows machine, create directory. A directory is just a fancy name for a folder. I'm going to hit the backspace one time and I'm just going to type in the name of this folder and I'm just going to call it backup. Now I put a dollar bill in front or the dollar sign in front of the name of the folder. The only reason I did that is just to keep the folder at the top of this list alphabetically for the sake of this demonstration. Now I'm going to double click on this folder and you can see there's nothing in it as there should not be. Now I'm going to go up here. Now I'm going to log into the server at HostMonster, my server that hosts the Jim's MaxJXL team demonstration blog. I'm just going to click on this down arrow and when I do it's going to log in. So let me just pause the video for a second. Okay, when I pause the video I logged in and now we're at my the HostMonster hosting company. And these are all the folders. Now at HostMonster and Bluehost and many companies, you were WordPress blog folders and sites will be inside a folder called public underscore HTML or just HTML or something like that. Call up custom service at the hosting company to make sure you're in the right place or if you can't find the proper file or folders. Double click. Okay. And then I'm going to go down here. Um, to where it says Jim's Max JXL team down here, right there. Click it one time. I'm going to double click it and now we're opening that folder. I'm going to double click on WP content and then I'm going to double click on the word themes. And these are the different themes that I have. I've got the default theme, I got the free theme, and I've installed thesis three different times and I added the word A, B, and C after at the end of the name of the folder. You won't see that. You're just going to see thesis underscore one eight or thesis underscore one seven or one six or one nine two or whatever. I happen to be using this folder right here. So I'm going to double click there and then 
double click right here where it says custom. I'm going to double click there. And this is the custom functions.php file we're going to back up. If you wanted to back up the custom.css file, here it is. You just use the exact same procedure I'm about to show you. Okay, so take this, click and drag into the white space, and now the copy of custom functions.php file is now on my computer on the C drive in that folder called dollar sign backup. Now I'm going to right click there, rename it. I'm going to put the mouse or the cursor just after the S in custom functions add a hyphen or minus sign and I'm going to put original so we know that's the original file that we started with at the beginning of the day. I'm going to hit enter or return and we're done and I'm going to save this file again. Okay. Now we have two copies. I'm going to go back to my blog. I am now at the custom functions .php file. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to modify the code. It doesn't matter what I do exactly. I'm just going to put the word all in there. See? That's it. All I did is just add this word right here. No big deal. Scroll down. Click the big save button. Everything's going fine. Now I'm going to go back to the file Zilla. Now this file on the server has the word all in it and the one right here on my hard drive does not. So I'm just going to drag this down here to overwrite so we have the most recent copy on my hard drive. It asks me, the pop-up says, do you want to overwrite? Leave this top one checked. Over, forget about these other options. It could cause problems. So just click OK. OK, now we've just backed up the most recent copy of this custom functions.php file, which is working. Back to the blog scroll down and this time I'm going to deliberately corrupt the file by deleting a little semicolon right there so I'm just going to delete that okay it's deleted now when I click the save button we're gonna run it to some problems this okay so obviously I've got some major problems here when this happens to you you don't need to panic just open up your FileZilla program take the good copy of the custom functions.php file that's on your hard drive and upload it to the server and you can drag it to the right or you can just right click and click upload it says do you want to overwrite and you say for sure most definitely now when I go back to the blog right here so we just replaced the corrupted file that was sitting on the server at HostMonster. We just replaced that with the good working copy of the file that's on my hard drive. So now we're going to go back to the browser, to the blog. We're at the page or the window where the blog got corrupted. What you're going to do typically is just close that window, close that tab. You don't need it anymore. Now, I happen to have another tab with, the, with the, the blog address already typed in. That may not be the case with you. So what you're going to do is open up a new tab or a new window and just type in the address, the URL, to your blog. And you can see that Jim's MaxGX, MaxGXL team just pops up automatically. So I'm going to hit Enter. And now... When I click on Site Admin to log in, all is definitely well. I'm going to go down here, Custom File Editor. I'm going to go to CustomFunctions.php, Edit Selected File. This little pop-up warning lets us know we're actually in the correct file. Scroll down. And you can see right there for yourself that the semicolon has been replaced. It is back in this file. It is functional. I can prove it to you by just deleting that word all. So I'm changing a little code. Now watch when I save the file again. You won't get the white screen. You won't get an error message. All will be right with the world. Okay, and I hope this video helps. If you liked it, click the like button. Thank you for all your positive comments and feedback. Feel free to subscribe to my blog. Jupiter Jim's marketing team.
Thanks for watching and have a great day.